now that we know that in order to hack web uh, web key we need to actually uh, sniff as many packets as we can so uh, and we need to capture a lot of packets so we can get uh, two packets with the same ivs or same random number on them uh, so we will be sniffing data using arrow dump ng and arrow dump ng we used arrow dump ng in the in the previous videos and i told you that how we can actually uh, target a specific ap or target a specific wi-fi we want uh, we want to capture packets from uh, so in order to hack web uh, web we are going to use arrow dump ng and uh, with arrow dump ng we are going to use air crack ng so uh, arrow, arrow dump ng will be capturing the packets and what air crack ng is, will be going to do is that air, air crack ng will be uh, will be trying to uh, read those ivs uh, air crack ng will be trying to read those that that 24 bit random number i told you about in the previous vid, uh, video and it is going to run statistical attacks on it it will be running statistical attacks on it and then uh, uh, when it finds two packet uh, two packets with the same iv so it will going to uh, crack the web key for us so arrow dump ng is very easy uh, we just need to put channel and then bssid and then write the output and using air crack ng is even more easy we just type in air crack ng and after that uh, we're going to write this uh, the file name uh, the file name is similar to this file name uh, it, it will be actually the, uh, the 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 file in which we are capturing the packets actually so it is going to get more clear when we actually do it so let's get into kali <coughs> and i'm going to go to terminator <coughs> okay so one thing we need to be clear about is if we are in monitor mode or not so i am not in monitor mode so i'm going to turn my monitor mode on I am going that again in front of you just because you guys <coughs> have a revision of things and you know how all of this is done so you don't have to go back so we have monitor mode active in WLAN 0 mon I am going to clear it and after that I can set the config and here is the monitor mode is on <coughs> so now I am going to say arrow dump ng WLAN 0 mon to check the <coughs> Wi-Fi available for us and here is our test network this is the Wi-Fi we are trying to hack this is the web network we are trying to hack or or crack the key for so now I'm going to start capturing the packets from this test network so we write arrow dump ng we write double dash b s s i d and I'm going to copy it from here after that we specify the channel and the channel is 1 and then we give it the output file name so we can say it output web crack or you can give it any name you want and after that we are going to say wlan 0 mod <clears throat> so it is very easy arrow dump ng then bssid uh, of the wi-fi or network we are trying to hack or crack the key then channel and then uh, then the name of uh, output file and then the interface monitor mode is running on we press enter <clears throat> and it will start capturing a uh, packet from uh, from this test network <laughs> so now what we are going to do is we are going to run air crack ng along with it so it is very easy we say air crack ng and after that we have to put the file name so we say output web crack dot one dot zero one and then the capture file so let me actually show you these are the files we are actually this is the file 
so we have this file available we can say air crack and g and after that we can copy it or we can just type in output and then capture file and what we're going to do is just press enter so we press enter and it has now started to <coughs> actually uh, read those ivs and crack the key so it is saying that it failed to find two packets with the similar ivs or similar random number uh, so it is going to try next on 5000 ivs <coughs> and you remember in the last videos we talked about that data is the number of a uh, number of use, useful packets we captured so now it can get more clear to you that these are the packets with different kind of ivs for example we have captured 2700 packets right now and each of those packets have a different iv uh, so we actually need uh, an iv or we need uh, two two packets with different ivs so it is going to keep capturing those data packets and then keep comparing them air crack ng will be comparing them and arrow dump ng is actually capturing the packets so and uh, it can take some time for uh, there are two kind of web encryptions one is 46 bit and another is uh, another is 128 bit uh, so 128 bit can take a little longer and uh, if it is uh, if it is like a 46 bit it can just happen and it will just crack the key in 15000 ivs but for 128 bit it can go up to uh, almost uh, 50000 ivs and if a network is busy and a lot of people are using uh, are using uh, the uh, our test network or for example or the network we are trying to hack so the data flowing in the in the network will be a lot and it will be even a faster process but if uh, only one client is connected and he is not doing anything or device is just sitting idle uh, so we will have to wait for the data packets to flow because if someone is not doing anything uh, on their device uh, so it means that uh, it means that no data packets are in the networks and we need data packets we can we need to capture thousands of data packets uh, so uh, for now we are just going to wait and and let air crack ng do it its thing and in some time it is going to uh, crack the key for us so now we managed to actually crack the key and you can see that this is the uh, this is the i and we have the password here which is test password one and it took almost uh, 1 lakh and 80,000 IVs uh, for uh, for the air crack ng to crack it so uh, you just need to be patient to capture as much IVs you can as much data packets you can uh, because hacking can actually get a uh, very hectic when you have to uh, be very patient and you need to wait for things to happen so uh, sometimes it, it will happen for you in uh, 10,000 IVs or 10,000 data packets and sometimes it can take uh, about 2 lakh or 3 lakh IVs too. So for me it happened in almost 1 lakh and 80,000 IVs and now what I am going to do is I am going to turn off my uh, monitor mode so I can uh, check if I can co uh, connect with this network or not so i'm going to stop uh, monitor mode on my on my device and yeah, i have wlan 0 on manage mode so we can check from here and yes we are in manage mode so let's see if we can connect to it or not i actually got connected already so i'm going to forget it and put the password again from here So I'll go to settings forget connection 
and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it from here I can copy and then go back again here and the Wi-Fi is not connected I can click select network then the test network I will click on connect and here I am going to paste it and click on connect and it is saying and now we are connected so you can see that we got connected with a test network uh, with this uh, with this key we found with aircraft ng which is test password one and another thing uh, that uh, we only managed to do it just because we had uh, two devices connected to the network and there was a lot of data packets flowing and we we got to capture a lot of data packets and then we found the ivs and and then aircraft did it thing